Okay, we are going to test the scapular adduction and downward rotation for the rhomboids. The position of the patient is going to be prone. As you see here, the head is going to be turned to <clears throat> either side for comfort. You want their hand basically behind their back. So the shoulder is going to be internally rotated and the arm is going to be adducted across the back um, in this position. So at the position of the therapist is you're going to be at the test side and you're going to be pushing again at that distal humerus in a down and out direction while at the same time you're going to be placing your hand <clears throat> on that rhomboid area as well okay so i'm going to be um what i want you to tell the patient is i want you to lift your hand off the back yep perfect so right now we automatically know she's a grade three because the fingers uh go ahead and do that again you definitely pop out right here where my right hand is and now go ahead and lift that here again so now I'm going to apply a down and out direction. So you hold that no matter what, down and out. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. So what, again, you're looking for is making sure that scapula has a good pop-out sensation and it holds strong um, for scapular adduction and downward rotation. A grade four, may be a, <clears throat> the patient is going to be able to hold the contraction against a strong to moderate resistance. And we already saw a three with the patient being able to complete uh, the range of motion and tolerate no manual resistance except for gravity. Okay, moving on to a grade two, the position of the patient is going to be again prone, shoulder at about 45 degrees of abduction and the elbow at about 90 um, and the hand is going to be still resting on the back and again all of grade two for the scapula are going to be cradled. So I'm going to cradle the patient now and you're going to ask them to try to lift your hand toward the ceiling and so about 45 and 90. So I, again I'm cradling and try to lift your hand up toward the ceiling. And what you're going for at the scapula is, um, is uh, partial range of motion. So can, does it complete partial range of motion? That's what you're looking for. A grade one is going to be contractile activity um, happening at that rhomboid muscle.